Okay, so hello friends. Today our topic is the chronic non-specific inflammation. So here it is non-specific. That is, it can occur at any place of the GIT digestive tract. Okay, an inflammation. So let's see. So here it is the chronic term is there. So as a result, there is formation of the ulcer. Next is inflammation. The same features of the inflammation. That is the congestion of the blood vessels. That is the capillaries congested okay congested next is inflammatory cells inflammatory cells so let's see the histological pictures so here you can see that this is the ulcerated epithelium here it is the formation of the ulcer in the epithelium okay next is here you can see the those are the inflammatory cells this is the inflammatory cells inflammatory cells next is thick wall blood vessel here it is you can see this is a inner wall and this is the outer wall of the blood vessel so the thickness of the wall get increased next here also the inflammatory cells here it is you can see the inflammatory cells and the deposition of the fibrin so it causes the fibrosis okay in next picture we will see the presence of the fibroblast that is the inflammatory cell and the lymphocytes inflammatory cells okay and here most important feature is end artery arteritis obliterans what is in that arteries obliterans here the meaning is that is the inflammation inflammation okay inflammation of the intima or inner lining of an artery okay which causes occlusion of the lumen of the artery so here you can see this is the end arteritis obliterans this is the most important features okay this is the most important okay so that's it for the chronic non-specific uh, inflammation so guys if you like this video then please do not forget to hit the like button and please do subscribe my channel